Hey, what's going on, YouTube, Internet World? This is uh, Brandon Joshua again here in uh, Deep Creek, Virginia, Chesapeake, Virginia. I just got to let y'all guys know, man. Uh, you know, I say I got a lot to say, but this is just going to be a, maybe a quick one. I don't know. I just get going, man. But we need to stand up, man. I'm in Virginia, you know, and I see all these people talking online that uh, about gun control. I mean, we got, our, we got the governor of Virginia right now made a, a news statement saying they're banning guns in... Our capital, which is Richmond, Virginia. It's almost a done deal. I watched the interview. Uh, you know, I follow, like, Richie from Boston, the Big Sib, uh, a bunch of guys. You know, I, I keep up with a lot of guys. But this guy was the Think About It channel, Steve. And he just put out a new vi uh, a video. And it was showing our Virginia governor doing a breaking news story, okay, in a courtroom. That we all know. If you watch the Big Sib channels, we all know. Well, you, you know about the courtroom. Most people don't know about this stuff. But <laughs> I do. And it's crazy. Uh, I can't explain it now. I'm not that. I'm not gonna talk on anything. I'm. Not, I don't fully know 100% on. I just know what Brandon, Brandon, the big sib, is talking about is 100% accurate and correct. I can understand his teachings. It's. It's so weird. I'm gonna. I might. This might turn into a thank you video to to, to thank uh, uh, dedication. Thank you video to the big sib Brandon and Richie at the end. Who for all I know, I get rambling, and I'm gonna do one for them. This might turn into it. Matter of fact, I just had to say real quick that like our Virginia governor though. He just passed a, a law, man, that's that is banning all guns in in uh Richmond, Virginia. The dude even said, if I'm kind of looking this way, just so y'all know, I always record with this camera this way, like straight up and down. So I'm having to look over here where this camera is, where my finger is. So y'all gonna probably see me looking like that way a lot. That's why, uh, you know, I usually make eye contact with people when I talk in person. Like I said, I talk to people every day in person. That's that's my 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 deal because in person. Man, people listen or they don't. Either they're going to walk the other way or they're going to listen to you. Or y'all going to talk or you're not. It ain't none of this internet world where people try to troll you or they want to be tough guy behind a computer and a keyboard. You know what I mean? Like, in real life, all this mainstream stuff y'all are talking about, okay, or they, that they're talking about, you know, they're trying to keep us separated with religion and politics and race. People, we're in 2020, okay? I got, I, I could go live on an Indian reservation, all right? My, not my great, great, my great grandma. Maiden name is Ash, okay? Full-blooded Cherokee Indian, 100%, uh, was rescued on tra Trail of Tears, okay? Uh, by a white man, my great-grandfather. Okay, well, then my that's my mom's mom. <laughs> and then my grandma that passed away in 2016, she was 50% Indian. You go in my grandma's house, it was all Indian stuff and pictures of wolves on the walls. She was full-blooded Indian, you know, had the, the Indian face and everything. Uh, their, their features. So my mama is 25%, I'm 12.5%, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm Scott Irish for my last name, and uh, it's not easy. I'll probably say it on here. I could say it now. I don't want to, but it's easy to find out. I know these people already know who I am too. So news, and in right now, truth is the lie. Anybody that speaks truth is looked at like they're crazy, and it's because you're programmed. Okay, you don't know it. I didn't know this. When you unplug from the world, you stop watching all that satanic, uh, the satanic spills you're putting through your tv your fake news all your mainstream mainstream stuff your radio and all that <laughs> it's it's keeping people brainwashed and programmed i mean they they've got everybody instilled with these trigger words if you call if you say any type of certain kind of word you could say it in the correct manner and be be right about what you're talking about but if that you they hear certain words even if you're using it in a good way okay you could be seeing somebody that's legitimately born with retarded, retardation symbol uh, syndrome or whatever it's technically called. But you could have somebody over there that's having like uh, with, that's born that way or got in an accident and had a head injury. I grew up racing motocross. I know dudes that hit their head a lot, and some dudes never got recovered from it. My my middle brother had three lacerations to his brain from a severe concussion, and was healed in three days from the Lord. I mean, from or from Yahushua, and our and our Creator. Abba Yahweh, Father God, and uh, I use the Hebrew names, I've already stated that, just because I want to ensure I'm praying to the right God, that's just me, you know, uh, people can do whatever they want, but when I try to, what I need to say though about the governor, Northam, he see, he even talked about how they ban guns in our, in our nation capital, which is scary, because that means it's coming to the whole state of Virginia, I already know, it's scary, and then the guy's even going on to say that reason he's banning guns in the nation capital because he's comparing it. He even said, "Don't bring that." He's even listed on the on his uh, ban sheet here 
in the, in this like like the big sib says this is the true man show in the wizard of oz it is straight up it ain't nothing but we're living in earth in a fake reality that these pe these satanic people are feeding everybody nothing but lies i know them i see through the veil y'all yeah i broke y'all's mind control straight up i didn't break it actually yahushua broke it I unplugged from y'all satanic TV world, all y'all secular music. I unplugged from it all. I ain't watched TV in six years. This is going on a sixth year. I went without a cell phone for two years, okay? From the end of 2017, I got rid of my iPhone. I, I, I burnt that thing to a pulp, okay? I went for two years without a phone. I just now got this Android robot phone on Christmas just because I needed it to start filming some videos. And I'm going to even not use this that much. I'm about to go get a camera and start filming on a video camera. Upload them to my laptop. I don't like having a phone on me. This is a government tracking device. That's all this is. This costs money. Each month. Pay, costing myself money. That's why I stopped over two years. I'm carrying around something that you're not. You're supposed to keep a minimum half an inch away from your skin. Which is probably one of you. It's a cancer giving government tracking device. That literally listens to you, watches you, takes all your private information, looks at all your private pictures. You, you freely list who all your family members are on Facebook and your best friends, your cousins. You put your whole life out there. So when, when stuff pops off and they start going around with martial law, rounding people up, and the, the Christians, the real people out there, like like I, okay, and I'm not perfect. None of us are. But like I, I'm getting everything revealed to me, okay? I'm about, I'll be 34 and 8, and I... I I've been in prayer for a long time. It's just weird to hear that as I watch the Big Sib and Richie and like Jacob from Israel, uh, uh, Nicholas since uh, 68, uh, there's a bunch of them that think about a channel. There's about, well, there's not a bunch of them because there's not very many legit people. The Dana Ashley girl, uh, I, I met her through Richie, same as Brandon, the Big Sib. I like her a lot too. She's on it. But it's weird how all of us, and, and, and there's others too. I can't remember all their names. Like I said, there, there's probably maybe eight or nine of them, less, 10 or less, I know that, that I actually watch. That's sad because there should be a lot of us. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm going to start making legit videos. It's not just coming on here rambling all the time. I'm going to legit start doing stuff. Uh, and even if I am on here just talking and not getting into doing the whole showing everybody thing like a lot of people do because I just don't really have time for that right now. But I have time. I can make time to talk. And I'll just make uh, I'll just come here and talk about certain things versus just rambling. I'll actually do like a sermon or I'll actually cover something and I will, I'll talk on one or two or three topics and that's it, you know. But with this governor even banning guns in the nation capital and then he even bans sticks and chains, he says, like he even listed that. Like don't bring your, don't bring your, your tree stick with you either, you know, but he's comparing the reason they ban guns in Richmond, but he used the excuse of what happened in Charlotte in the protesters in Charlotte, he's saying all these rioters, armed rioters, Virginians, okay, they're they're dangerous people. They're a militia and they're armed and they're hate they're hatred type people and they're gonna come here and reason we ban these guns because we don't want it here. We don't want those kind of people here. These people they're talking about that they're literally basically calling terrorist traitors to America. These American citizens citizens that literally are law-abiding citizens that have the right to own and carry a gun, open carry in state of Virginia, or get a concealed permit, which is what I suggest going that route, just to cover your ends, you know, and not have it on hanging out for everybody. See, I personally open carried for four years when I was making all my money running my business. When I was making all that money, I open carried during the month of or during the years. Uh, I carry open carried a nine a Springfield XD nine millimeter standard twenty round clip. I open carried that that gun on, in a holster on my right hip for four years every single day and I worked out and I dealt with people every day I carried that gun on my hip every single day for four years during 2012 13 14 and 15 and not one time one time that I have not one public citizen ever asked me about my gun ever would give me a weird look about it nothing the mainstream makes it out like everybody's against it not one if everybody's against it somebody would have said something but they didn't say one thing because who's gonna talk crap to a guy with a gun on his side really and i even would go in seven or yeah seven elevens and wawa and like uh subway lines and have police officers armed uh uniformed police officers in front of me and when you're a mature guy and you, you're smart you're 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 educated uh and you can speak and, I mean, I may ramble and, and t get my words tied up sometimes, but I'm a decent. I'm not the smartest guy, but I, I'm kind of I'm educated. I'm not stupid, and I've been studying for the last few years. <laughs> 
which that's all I've been doing. When I sold my company, I was I could I was able to do that, have time to do that, thankfully. And uh, and it saved my life. I mean, ultimately, I'm supposed to be dead, you know. So the way I see it is, I'm supposed to be dead right now. Okay, I did enough stuff to kill myself. God, I didn't. Satan could not break my foundation. My, I have a, a one event when I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm not gonna go into all the details now because, like I said, people can't wouldn't be able to handle that right now. So people, not even believers, they would they people that don't actually follow Yahushua, they won't. Sadly, they won't they won't get it. But that one event that six hour event block rooted me. I realized that, uh, cause when Satan had tried to convince me that I was a traitor and like, like Judas and I, and I was, and he tried to convince me to hang myself too and, and in OD out or do whatever. Um, when I started hearing Satan doing that, like push me in that kind of way, I sold the gun right away, you know? And then I just kept, just kept in prayer and kept going with it. And Satan couldn't even get in my temple. Our bodies, we are the temple. Our bodies are the temple. Just so y'all know that they're building a third temple in Israel. Everybody seems to think this third temple is a building that it, no, the temple is us. That's the temple. Okay. Our body is the temple. You have to understand that. It's sad to hear these pastors that are on stage, like the BBN radio. I used to listen to that like faithfully for an entire year, all the way up until like a month ago. I was listening to that like sermons on there, just listening. And a lot of them, I could like little things, whatever I could hear, but it's all like, it's not prosperity preaching. It's like straight up real preaching. It's real doc. They're preaching true doctrine. However, some of those pastors I've looked up and they seem to, they, a lot of them come from Baptist or a Baptist type background church uh, denomination. Like I said, I don't do denominations. Even when I was 20, way back, I got out of school in 2004, okay, at 18 in 2004. So five, six, at 2006, I was even then, before I knew all the stuff I know now, I was something in my spirit even then would never let me claim a denomination. I seen that the BS in it then. 26,000 of them to choose from, <laughs> literally. I, I, I seen it then. I would tell people, I, I'm only a, a, I only follow, well, back then I didn't say Yahushua because, you know, I learned, you know, everybody learns and that's just my personal preference now. That's how I believe. That's how I do it. Okay. And it's right. It's not wrong. That's, it's biblically correct. Okay. So I choose to go with the biblically correct deal. I don't want to use the Jesus name that I know still means salvation and all. No, I, I get it. Okay. I know all about that. Okay. And, and Hey, maybe he hears that name. I don't know, but I'm just going by what I know they called him. And I'm comfortable with that because this is my soul we're talking about. People, this is your, this is your soul we're talking about. You should want. I mean, why? Why take the chance? Just go call them the Hebrew names. Call them that just to be on the safe side. Why not? People believe and say and try to live right based on you know they think they're going to go to heaven based on living right and these good deeds, which is inaccurate. You got to follow the Ten Commandments and follow those and live by those. But nonetheless, you got people out here that you know, might even live right or live like a pastor because they want to be better safe than sorry and live right and go to heaven, hopefully, instead of hell. So if you're got if you're doing that already and you're living this, you know, you're sacrificing the all these worldly things and temptations, it's very hard. But the the, the closer you get in faith, the closer you get to Yahushua and your creator it's become so much easier. I see, it took me a whole year to get my mind back. The whole 2018 after I sold out and I had and it was able to put myself up in a way none of my friends have even seen me except for four people, four or five people I grew up with, and that's just because they were here seeing my younger brother visiting him, and I just happened to be here and I seen him too. And they, you know, they of course they tell me how before when I was on stuff that I never would really talk how how depressed I seemed, never would talk like me, and here I am thinking. I talked more when I was on that, and turns out I didn't. And these guys know me from the time I was a kid all the way to now. So they know my whole life story, and they know my personality, and they see me grow and live. And, you know, that shocked me to know that I was, that they blinded me even that. But anyway, none of my friends have even seen me since uh, October uh, 5th of 2017. I know it's kind of sad, but I had to do it. My life was on the line of my soul. Like, Satan literally had me about to die, okay? He had me convince me that I needed to go jump off the Jordan Bridge or I needed to shoot myself in the head or I needed to OD out on drugs, which I actually did try many a times. I mean, a handful of times just doing way more than I knew I should have and I, I expected to die, sadly. But I woke up every time, okay? 
God spared me of that. There's no other way, people. I, what I've done, and there's witnesses to this. My own mother, my own, that's one thing I have on my heart that weighs me, weighs heavy on my heart. And she understands. She forgives me. I, I've... I'll, you know, it's a, I can't get in that because, you know, I'll get all teary eyed and get going on that because that's, that's one of my biggest regrets is my mother having to us be there and see two years worth of that and uh, see me at my worst. But however, her doing that, I look at it as she's also seen, she, she's gonna, she's seeing this now, man. She, she's seeing how much courage and, and bravery it took to just start recording random videos and putting my story out there. Uh, it, it lifted a weight off my shoulders, man. It feels like it freed me. I just broke Satan. Satan still had that collar on me, man. I've been, man, I've been clean for two years, and, and today is the 17th, okay? T the, December 27th was my two years. So however many days now, it's like day 18 or two years, 18, 19 days, I don't know. Uh, let's see what that is. 28, 29, 30, 31. Plus 17, so 18, 19, 20, 20. So it's, like, it's two years and 21 days a day, I believe. Because <clears throat> it's January 17th, 2020, 2020. But I was clean for all those years and still studying the Bible and doing all these things and uh, doing going to doing some missionary type stuff again. And just low key. Nobody even knows, okay? But. My family don't know I was doing things because I didn't want to tell nobody I was trying to talk to people and do things. And I, everybody I talked to, I told them straight up, like from the beginning, you know, everything about me. There's no lies. There's no reason to lie. I ain't got nothing to lift. The only thing I got left to give now is my life. I used to walk around saying I was a dead man walking. I said that a year ago because I was so lost. And But the, I stayed in prayer because I knew that's all I had left. 